Hello, welcome back to Deep with Survival with Matt Harvey. So today we're going to talk about you're going to travel somewhere. You've probably never been there. You don't know maybe what amenities are there. Um, you know, you might be just staying at a hotel. You might be staying in a friend's house or a relative's house, or maybe you're just going to be in a uh, camping in a an RV or just in a campsite. What do you take? What do you can take with you? Um, I think it depends on what your plans are. Are you driving or are you flying? Are you taking a bus? Is somebody else driving you? Or are you, you know, are you driving yourself? Uh, I think it really depends on what you think, number one, how long you're going to be there. Number two, what you think you might need. It all depends on the situation that you're in. Um, Amanda and I are going to Florida here coming up next week. We are going to be going to my dad's house. We've never been there before. We don't know what's around. So here's what I'm going to take. I'm going to take my normal EDC. I have a multi-tool, a flashlight that has a rechargeable battery. I have um, a folding knife. I carry a fixed blade knife on me now with a fire starter, fire striker, I should say. Um, my wallet, of course. I carry wet one, wet one wipes. And I also carry uh, dude wipes. Uh, the wet wipes are mainly if I get something on my hands, I can wipe them off with that. I get something on my shirt. I spill ketchup or something on my shirt. That'll take care of that. And uh, essentially, of course, the dude wipes are for, you know, if you have to go to the bathroom. And then uh, I carry little wipes for my glasses. I also carry a uh, glasses cleaner. Um, what else is in my pockets? Oh, I carry a little boo-boo kit, and it has just basic medicines, mainly for me. I have stuff for my hearing aids. I have stuff um, for my allergies. Allergy medicine, I have Benadryl in there. I have um, headache medicine. Um, I also carry Imodium because some people like Imodium um, and stuff like that. So I have all that, and I think I have a little thing, a little chewable Pepto, Bill Small pill or two. I have some band-aids, uh, some regular size band-aids, and I have some larger band-aids um, to go, you know, over a bigger wound if I need it. And let's say fall and scratch my hand or fall and scratch my knee. Um, it's not a big time boo-boo kit, but it's a big enough kit so that if um, I had to, you know, just take care of it. I've got some sab in there or neosporin or whatever you want to call it and stuff like that. And then, of course, some alcohol prep pads, just in case I need to wipe something off, um, something gets dirty or whatever. It's just a basic boo-boo kit. It's not for, oh, my gosh, I just cut my leg open or I broke broke my leg or something like that. I do carry a bandana as well. And the bandana has multiple uses. Number one, cover for my head. As us bald people need coverage from the sun. Um it also has, um, you know, you can use it as a bandana over your face. Uh, if you're, you can use it as a uh, tourniquet. And there's a lot of other uses for bandanas. Filtering water. If you want to scoop something up and the water's gross, you put the bandana over it and then let it sit under there and let it suck through that bandana. Uh, at least you get some of the chunks out before you have to boil your water. So you won't have a bunch of stuff floating in your water. Uh, so, yeah, that's a good use for that. Okay, so we are driving. Um, so we have more options than if you're flying or maybe going on a train or whatever, because we're not going to be going through any kind of um, area where there's security and we have to scan things through. Um, more than likely, I'm going to take uh, my EDC backpack 
that has a water bottle with a filter on it. And also, I also have in that backpack a metal bottle so I can boil water if I need to. Two ways to take care of water. Also have just a regular Sawyer Mini in there. So that's three ways to filter water if I need to. Uh, of course, there's always boiling if I need to as well. But um, I carry a light jacket, some undergarments in there. Um, I carry some electronic electronic kit. Essentially has plugins for different devices I have. Um, has an extra set of headphones. Um, also has um, chargers for everything I have. My hearing aids, everything. Um, and then also in there is uh, some gloves, essentially, because I work out in the forest sometimes. Um, you know, if I have to walk home or whatever, I need some kind of protection for my hands. Um, and going to Florida, I mean, we're going to be in flip-flop shorts and a t-shirt probably the whole time because it's going to be nice down there. But just in case, I might throw an extra pair of boots in the, in the back of the car. A pair of jeans or long pants, maybe some cargo pants, just in case. Maybe a long sleeve shirt um, that is w water wicking and quick drying because it does rain a lot in, in Florida, uh, more than here than more there than uh, here in Texas. So um, probably bring a backup pair of glasses. Probably bring an extra hat or two, um, and then probably gonna have. Uh, just normal clothes, of course, swimming suit and all that fun stuff. But uh, we'll probably can't pack some water in there, some extra food. Um, Amanda's car, my both cars have emergency supplies. I think there's duct tape in there. There's uh, cam lights or glow sticks. There is rope in there. There is gloves in there. Um, there's bottles of water. I know you shouldn't leave a bottle of water in the car, but, you know, it's just it's just for just in case. I mean, worst case scenario, I attach the Sawyer Mini to the top of it, and we can drink out of that. So we're not drinking all that plastic. We basically, in chemicals, hopefully it'll filter out most of that. Um, you know, if you work for, if you know the Sawyer Mini at all, you might be going, well, it doesn't really filter that out. Okay, well, let me know in the comments. I appreciate that. But essentially, we're going to be going for like four or five days. So we're not going to be carrying a whole lot with us. Um, there may be a chance for a hurricane to hit on the way there. So I'm going to have a jacket. I might bring, some, like I said, some, some boots that are waterproof. Um, more than likely, it's going to be warm rain, so I'm not going to have to worry about um, if I just put my uh, swimming trunks on. I don't really care if my swimming trunks get wet. I might want to put do something with my phone um, we're going to be driving along the coast. So you're just going, okay, you know, you might deal with flooding. So of course we'll have our cell phones with us and we'll be essentially prepared for if we have to alter routes, we carry an Atlas with us, an actual physical Atlas, um, uh, not just GPS on our phones. So if we need to, we can kind of look and see where we are and then navigate from there as, as well. Always good to have a hard copy map uh, in the in your car or on your purse, so you you know for your state or states that you're going to go into, so that you can look back and go, oh, okay, yeah, now I, I know I'm here. Uh, I can't go this route. I need to go around somehow. My phone isn't working. Uh, maybe the satellites have been knocked out, or maybe the cell phone service has been turned off because of the incoming hurricane whatever. Um, that's just the scenario that we're going to have to prepare for as we go down there. Um, my dad does live right on the water. Uh, he lives on an island down there. So <laughs> maybe, uh, hey, dad, come with us <laughs> type thing. We're going to go to higher ground. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the story is going to be or if, if that hurricane's even going to hit Florida. Uh, it, right now, they're looking at Florida, Louisiana, and Texas. If it comes over Texas, it looks like it's going to come right over where we live. Yay! So we're about 130 miles from Houston, um, just straight north. And that's where the storm is supposed to go over Houston and straight up. 
So by the time it gets here, the only thing I can think of is we do get a lot of wind out here. There could be possible tornadoes, and there could also be um, the possibility of maybe some light, light uh, flooding. Our area drains pretty well, but if we get too much water too fast, I don't know what's going to happen. So that's another thing we'll have to kind of figure out. We do have somebody staying at the house, watching our dogs, um, and stuff like that. Another question is, do you bring a weapon with you? I'm not going to get into any specifics, but do you carry a weapon with you? Mm, I don't know. Um, with everything going on in the world, I think Amanda and I can figure our way back out of there without having to carry any kind of a weapon, if you will. Um, so, I, like I said, YouTube is pretty strict about that. I just don't want them uh, keying on that word and and uh, or somebody else keying on that word and reporting us. So, anyways, um, yeah, we uh, we definitely uh, will be prepared for any kind of weather situation. Um, of course, I'm gonna have flip flops with me too. So, I mean, my flip flop could well, it's not gonna be a big deal. And the water will be pretty warm, I'm guessing. So it won't be like we're gonna have frostbite or anything. We'll be inside of a vehicle. Worst case scenario, if, if things get really bad, we'll find a place to shelter or hunker down um, somewhere and ride it out. Uh, I don't think we're going to have an issue, but you never know. Who knows? So um, all things that you have to think about when you're traveling, what's the weather going to do? You know, that's just another thing that you should be thinking about when you're planning a trip. Um, you know, knowing where you're going have you know have the the plan maybe printed out on a piece of paper uh, i know very few people now use MapQuest, but you can basically print it out with the whole directions put it in a ziploc bag a gallon ziploc bag and guess what it's dry it's it's ready to go you can just look at it real quick it's not going to take up a lot of room it's not heavy um, so that's another option for you so you know where to go again having an atlas so in case you have to vary from wherever you think you're actually going to go, uh, you know, you're not going to take that highway. Now you've got to go inland a little bit and you need to know which highways are which. And for some reason, the cell phone's down, you know, again, uh, we're so reliant on our cell phones these days. What happens if they go down? What happens if the internet goes down? What happens if the power goes out? That's another thing we have to think about. We might bring some little battery-powered fans, probably bring a couple of extra battery banks. I always leave a couple power banks in each car. Uh, that way, in case we need to recharge our cell phones or my flashlights or whatever, Amanda has a flashlight in her car too that's basically powered by um, battery. It's battery-powered, not just like a you turn the bottom and you pull the battery out and then put a new one in, this recharges. So, yeah, I, I think that if you're going somewhere, you really need to kind of think things out. Now, don't stress over it. Don't sit there and go, oh, my God, what happens if, um, you know, the, the worst happens? Don't think about it that way. You're going somewhere probably to have a good time, enjoy yourself. We're going to be visiting family and friends uh, that live out in Florida. Um, we're excited about it. We're going to get the opportunity to see people we haven't seen in a while, um, which is awesome. Um, and then uh, we're gonna just going to hopefully go visit a few places and check some places out, depending on what's going on. Um, so I'm not going to stress about, oh, do I, you know, do I need to be in a survival mindset the whole time we're there? Uh, I'm going to be thinking, you know, I'm basically just going to improvise as I go. But if, if I don't have the tools I need to improvise, if something does happen, I'm going to be SOL. So just something to think about. And then um, for Amanda's car, we'll probably have, probably carry a couple of ponchos in there. Um, I don't know what she's going to bring, but uh, we'll make sure she has everything. She might group bring her go bag as well. I think her go bag is already in her car. But she'll have her go bag. We'll have some extra water. We'll have some extra food. Probably take a small cooler. We're not going to go overboard. 
and uh, bring some snacks with us because we're it's only like a 10 hour drive. So we may not even stop. We're just going to probably drive straight there. But like I said, if the weather decides to play a role, Amanda's car is well maintained. Uh, it's got an oil change recently, uh, fresh windshield wipers. Uh, it's very, very well taken care of. So we're not worried about it. She's also got on her car. Her car is like all the bells and whistles. Um, storm alerts and stuff like that. So if we need to know, oh crap, you know, we need to pull over somewhere and get, get safe, we can do that. But these are all things to think about. Um, you know, besides your normal clothing and your EDC, um, what else are you going to bring? Are you going to go extreme? Are you going to carry that weapon? Are you going to um, just bring some extra stuff just in case? What if you get stuck there? What happens then? Do you have some extra cash uh, in case the you know the debit system goes down? How are you going to pay for gas? What if the gas stations don't work? You know, should you carry some extra gas with you? Um, Amanda's car can probably get us there on one tank. Once we're there, I mean, worst case scenario, we would just stay with my dad. Um, or we'd have to move somewhere else and, and maybe he drives if he has a, he usually keeps his, his car pretty full. So these are just things to think about. It's not something to stress over. I don't want everybody to be, oh my God, you know, I'm going here, but I need to be prepared. No, just take what you think you're going to need. You know, if you, if you have, like me, you have glasses and hearing aids, you probably want to take things to make sure that if something happens, you can fix the glasses, you can fix the hearing aids. Uh, my little hearing aids have a lot of little things that go with them. They have domes. They have uh, little filters that fill up with wax. I know it's kind of gross um, from time to time, so I need to be able to change that. Otherwise, I can't hear out of that ear. Um Sometimes it doesn't work with my uh, phone, um, especially since the update. My hearing aids have been a little funky trying to get them to connect. So um, what else should be in the car? Um, you know, we do have a raft, but I don't think we're going to be carrying that. I think we're going to go light. I don't really think that we're going to pack too heavily. I don't think we're going to overthink this. Um, but, you know, like I said... Worst case scenario, all the, everything goes to hell in a handbasket. What are, you know, think about it for you, not for me. What are you essentially going to want to take? You know, you, you have your normal stuff. You have your clothes, like I said. But, you know, you might have that extra thing I was talking about. What all do you think you would need if you were traveling somewhere? You didn't know what, you know, what to bring or... Or, you know, what what to expect. Um, you know, maybe it's just an impromptu trip. Uh, maybe a relative gets sick. I got to go fly out tomorrow, um, rushing home from work, just throwing some clothes in, the, in there, and then I'm taking off. But you have to get through security, too, at the airport. So and they have very strict rules about what you can and can't take. So what do you do if you like to have... Um, like a multi-tool on you or a fixed blade knife. Well, you probably have to um, ship it. You might want to just go to your local UPS and one or two day ship it. Um, you know, you could always just buy something when you get there, go to the local Walmart or somewhere like that, or you could buy it and have it shipped to the person's house already. So when you arrive, you can just open the package and you're good to go never hurts to have a backup for your backup. They always say that uh, three is two and one is none. So, you know, things break. Things uh, go wrong. You lose things. It's not, you know, anything you're trying to do, but you, you could possibly lose something. What if I lost my flashlight? Well, my phone has a flashlight on it too, assuming it's working. Um, doesn't take, you know, the cell phone service to turn that on. So that's good. But, uh, you know, just think about that. What would happen if you went somewhere and you're traveling and you don't know exactly what to expect? Or maybe you do know what to expect. What would you pack? 
You know, leave, leave some information in the comments down below. What am I missing? What stuff should I be packing? And what I'll do is if, if uh, I look through the comments and I like what you have to say, then I might just uh, add it to my thing. I think I am missing a lighter. I do need to have a lighter. I don't know what happened to my lighter. I had a lighter in my pocket. It disappeared. Uh, I'm missing actually a couple other things too. But I'm definitely missing like a, a big lighter. I like to have that on me, um, some way to start a fire if I need to, um, and then stuff like that. So, um, you know, I carry a lot of stuff in my my go bag. I always have it with me. Um, I don't like I call it a go bag, but essentially it's just a EDC bag uh, with all my normal crap. I go in and out of there all the time, pulling stuff in and out of it, using it here and there, and then putting it back. So, anyways, these are just thoughts. Uh, like I said, if you, if you like the if you like this podcast, please like and subscribe. Please share this on your social media accounts. Uh, help me get the name out there. I appreciate you guys doing that. Thank you guys for listening. I really appreciate it. Um, if you want to leave a comment, please do. Um, whether you're on YouTube channel or other channels, um, and we'll try and look back to them sooner rather than later. All right, guys, we have a good one, um, and we'll catch you in the next one.